Tantor here with a recap of Atlanta United's 3-1 victory over DC United. Well, hey, we got three points at home, which is exactly what we're supposed to do. Uh, we scored three goals, which is more than what we've scored last week against LAFC. So all of that's good. Uh, but you know, we, we still have some issues. We were not dynamic. Uh, we didn't put the final goals on until later in the match. We didn't really control play for the majority of the match. DC United, they they had some uh, pretty good opportunities to score goals. And we've got some still things to work out there. So we've got to be a little bit critical on that one. But um, the thing that I like the best on this one is that after last match, I said Fortune needed to get some more playing time. Well, they started Fortune in place of Rosetto, and I loved it. Uh, he had a couple weak turnovers, but all in all, his spacing is so much better playing with Ibarra and gives a little bit more width and depth um, to the midfield. So we weren't dominated in the midfield like we were against LEFC, but of course we weren't playing against LEFC, so um, that, there's a big difference in quality of the opponent there. So I thought Fortune's start was a solid B. And I thought he did fairly well, made some mistakes. If he can clean that up, I think we're in good shape with him there. I think it's definitely better than what we've seen. We scored in the 12th minute with Yakimakis, uh, just making the DC keeper look stupid. I, I really don't understand a coach um, like Wayne Rooney allowing for a sweeper keeper. Um, it, just boggles the mind. I can't, I can't get grasp it. So when your keeper plays a, a forward one v one, thirty five yards away from the goal on the side, it makes no sense at all. And of course, when your striker beats the keeper one v one and he has an open net, he just has to tap it in, even if it is from a distance and even if it is from an impossible angle. Uh, Yakimakis did that and made him look dumb. But DC United, even the matchup in the 26th minute, if if I had to fault Amada with anything with his game, he's knocked off the ball way too easy. And he was knocked off the ball on a one of our corners on a counter. Um, well, it turned into a counter because Amada was knocked off the ball. And DC got it, and it was 3 on our keeper and Guzan didn't have a chance so I can't I can't complain with him on that one but uh, uh, Amada's got to be made of a little bit more sterner stuff especially in the MLS when the other team's fouling as hard as they do and as often as they do you're not going to get a whole lot of calls just because you fall down you're not going to get a call necessarily from an MLS ref uh, we did take the lead in the 48th minute Gutman Am Amada had a brilliant pass where he split defenders Gutman ran on it um, again, DC's keeper left his line to play across and left the net open. It Open nets in any level of soccer is no point, oh man. And in the 74th minute, our super sub, Tyler Wolf, scored again. Nice cross from Gutman. Tyler followed it in and basically off his knee. I think it's his second off his knee goal this season. But hey, you know what? When you attack the goal and you play the ball in, good things often happen. And good thing happened with us on that one, too, because for whatever reason, um, evidently the AR is watching a different soccer game out there and called us offside. Pineda actually did some managing, delayed the game, got him a yellow card, but they went to VAR in the meantime, and VAR actually made a correct call again. A lot of things we haven't seen happen correctly. Pineda making a good managerial decision. Um, and VAR actually working in our favor. So, you know, miracles do exist. They did happen. We got another goal. We won this match. Again, uh, we, we've got to clean up some of this stuff that we've got going on out there. Interesting that Arahu didn't play at all. I wouldn't have played him. He was, he's been pretty bad the past couple of matches. So... I think he's looking forward to heading back to Argentina, which is a good move for him. So good for him. But um, we saw our starting lineup with Wiley and ATN, and ATN was off 
after 60 minutes with Wolf coming in as his replacement. And I like that. I like it a lot. I like Fortune being back in the midfield. Now we just need an attacking mid to replace Amada when he gets sold because whether or not he's knocked off the ball very easily, he's still incredible on ball with what he can do. Anyway, next match, NYCFC. We'll see you then. Uh, hopefully we can get another three points.